What's up, YouTube? Reg Fox, if you know me, Star Fox, if you don't. And, you know, I'm here with a quick, uh, what, comparison? Unboxing? I don't know what y'all want to call it. All right? So as you can see here, hold on, let me, let me get this right. Blackberry Priv, Blackberry Passport, Blackberry Classic. All my Blackberry ballers, let's, let's get this going. So we'll start with the Priv. As you know, the BlackBerry Priv just came out and it's powered by Android. Let's see what you get. Now this already opened. I actually already did an unboxing um, to this, but that video didn't make it out. So here's the phone. Hope y'all can see this. There we go. BlackBerry Priv. You got your grill speakers here. Classic slide out keyboard. Power button. SD card slot for extra storage. And your SIM card. Where you put your SIM card. On the back, 18 megapixel Schneider something camera. Dual LED. Volume up and down rocker. And your mute button. On the bottom, 4.5 millimeter, or 3.5, sorry, millimeter headphone jack, and your USB. Blackberry Priv. Sexy looking device. Let's see if we got any power on here. Um, what you get in the box? Privacy, privilege, books and shit we don't care about. Yeah, SIM card ejector. Your adapter. Sorry for the low energy, everybody. I'm working hard, man. Working hard. And I kind of wanted to... I got a meeting to go to in a little bit, so this is a little rushed. I apologize for that. But just so you can see, you get your headphones, Blackberry headphones. But this is what I really care about. The phone. I don't think I have any power. Oh, here we go. We got a little bit of juice. So we let that boot up. And while we do that, let's go into, let's show you a quick size comparison. There's your Blackberry Classic. Obviously, it's much taller. And uh, it's thinner. Despite the slide out keyboard, I believe the Priv is thinner. And of course, it's much taller. Much, much taller. So you can see that right there. Hope you can see this. My camera sucks. Alright, it's running Android. And all that good stuff. Put that to the side right there. Another unboxing. The Passport. The Beast. The Silver Edition. This one we really literally just got in the mail today. This one came out earlier this year. Got your volume rocker. Mute button. You guys already seen it this time. The 3.5 headphone jacks is on the top, which I do prefer. Power button. 5 megapixel front facing camera. Speaker grill. What is this megapixel? 13 megapixel camera, I believe. Uh, Alright. So, just to give you a size comparison, obviously the Priv. It's going to be a lot taller, especially if you open that keyboard up. Keyboard comparison. A lot more. This is a lot clickier. This is a little flat, a little more flush. Um, but, you know, still nice. You can see the raised grills here. 
not so much on this one you can't really see it but this definitely feels like a little yeah, they're both nice actually they're both really nice nice keyboard obviously we know the passport's gonna be way wider because you're working wide a lot wider and the passport is thicker and a lot heavier a lot heavier alright guys um, full disclosure I'm gonna be honest with you guys the reason I have both these phones right here is because I ordered the Blackberry Priv I did an unboxing for you guys that I didn't put up I was going to tell you guys I'm gonna review the phone and all that good stuff right but while I'm playing with the Blackberry Priv there's one thing that I really realized that's very important and the thing I realize is this is not a Blackberry phone. I'm going to be honest, guys. It's an Android phone that says Blackberry. It's an Android phone with a Blackberry keyboard. And I'm going to be honest with you. The reason why I get a Blackberry is because I like Blackberry. Now, will a lot of Android people want this phone? Of course. Why not? You get stock Android and you get a, a beautiful Blackberry keyboard. But for $750, is this worth, is this worth $750? Nobody cares about that security other than our BlackBerry ballers, and if that's the point, then we're gonna stick with our Blackberries, right? I mean the app store is the app store is not enough to warrant this phone being seven hundred and fifty dollars. Because you can go get a six P for three hundred and something and you got an app store. Now why would you pay damn near two hundred and fifty dollars more, three hundred and fifty dollars more, whatever, for just a keyboard? It makes no sense. So I'm returning this phone. I actually already contacted BlackBerry. I'm returning the Priv, guys. It there won't be a uh, a real review on this because I'm not going to use it. I know some people might say, "Well, why don't you give it a shot?" But no, I don't need to give it a shot because it's a black. It's an Android phone. I was hoping for a BlackBerry phone that just happens to use Android. And instead, what I got is an Android phone that just happens to have a BlackBerry keyboard. That's not enough to warrant the price. I get that beast for $549. That one in the middle is $699 plus tax $750 for an Android experience. No, thank you. I'm going with the Passport just because I felt like getting something new. The Classic is still a beast, but I just wanted a bigger screen, so I'm going to stick with the Passport. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think I made the right decision? I mean, it is subjective, but I don't want an Android phone. I want a BlackBerry phone, and I was hoping that this would be a BlackBerry phone. I mean, the hub wasn't working properly. The it's just too much to go off. So, there you have it. My daily driver will now be the Silver Edition BlackBerry Passport. I'm hanging up the classic. And BlackBerry Priv, thanks but no thanks. Red Fox, if you know me, Star Fox, if you don't, I'm out.